New Vision API from OpenAI allows you to not only recognize text, but also import it in a structure format. Stick around and I will show you how to integrate it with Airtable. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to convert addresses from, let's say, your invoices into a structured data like this inside of Airtable. All right, but first start, how are we getting those images here inside of Airtable? So I'm actually looking for some example of invoices and I'm using a snipping tool on my computer to just select this specific uh, part of the invoice and then I'm copy pasting that into the field. So I'm pressing Ctrl V and then it's being automatically uploaded here. So let's add one more sample over here. So I'm selecting the, the whole block over here with my snipping tool and then Ctrl V and it's uploaded over here. All right. And now what we have connected together with this is a make scenario. So once you go to the description in the video, you'll be able to see a link to Make. If you have never used Make before, it's a simple tool for API automation. All right, and let's run this scenario once. So you'll see it has picked up a record from inside of Airtable and it has processed that record over here. So you can see that it has processed this specific record over here. And from here, we got the name of the company, then the street and the city and so on. So how is this doing this? So first of all, let's start with the initial scenario over here. So you see that I'm using search records and I'm searching through rows to process. Rows to process is a view that I have over here, which highlights the rows that have some sort of attachment here and have either no company name or no street name. So you can see there's a condition over here. We're picking up from here at the moment, the first, uh, first row from the top. All right, now the next module here is uh, OpenAI Analyze Images Vision. So this is a model which has connection to GPT-4 vision preview. So that's the latest model that has been released. And the way it works is following. So once you add the authentication, once you connect this to your API keys from, from your OpenAI account, here you are putting a specific prompt and then you're feeding it with an image. So here we are picking up image from the attachment column. And as you will see, I'm having a very specific prompt that says following, make sure that you extract the details of the company from the image and I'm giving it a specific structure as example that should be returned. And on top of that, I'm adding a couple of additional prompts saying only return JSON format. So don't return anything else than this. Don't return any quotations around it and return only this. So I tried this a couple of times and these are the things that kind of prevented it from doing strange things. This allows me to get pure output in this format. I'm also saying it to specifically stick to only this format and do not add any additional fields. If something is missing, then ignore those properties. Do not add any new properties, okay? And as a next step, what you will notice over here, once this module runs here inside of the choices, we will have the message and inside of the message, we have the content. If that content is a pure JSON format, according to our description, we will get the information here converted into following fields. And from there, the simple step is just to map it back into the fields that we have created into Airtable and add those values into those specific fields. So let's run this one more time. We'll see we have run this on this company. And as you can see, it is pretty much recognizing all the names correctly. It is recognizing them correctly. And you will see that the values are being added into the right fields. Right, so that's, that's everything. So that's a super simple video and uh, just an idea how you could use the Vision API. Obviously, there are many other use cases. And what you need to remember that you can use this for any sort of text you could also change the specification that is being added here. You could ask it to extract other informations in another format. So I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe, share this with your friends and let me know how, uh, how you would like to use it in your, in your business. Thank you guys. Have a good day ahead. Bye.